photo that you see in the thumbnail, the one that's floating, that was actually in the stand, so I'm going to show you guys how to make it flow. So if you're interested in seeing that, stick around. All right, let's get into it. So you've got to take two photos, one photo of the ice cream in the stand, as you can see in this photo, and also you need to take a photo of just the background. That way when you go into post-production, you can merge them together, which I'm going to show you. So most people know how to edit in Lightroom, or you might be still editing in Photoshop, that's fine. Edit both files with the exact same settings, um, so they both kind of match when you go to um, mask out the stand. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've, I've already opened up the ice cream photo in Photoshop, so I'll just name that ice cream. And you have the background, which I'm just going to drag it in. And that's it there. So that already says background, so that's handy. On, off, as you can see. So I'm actually going to put that behind the uh, ice cream layer. So you've got the ice cream layer here, and what we're going to do it is we're going to actually mask out this stand. And to do that, you want to click over to this camera icon. Click that, and it brings up a white layer. That's This is what you call the mask. So if you click B for brush, you can see now I have a brush. And what you also want to do is, see how you've got white and black? Well, black is to mask out and white is to keep. So as you can see this layer right now is white. Therefore, you can see what's, uh, what's in the image. But if I grab the black, so switch it to black by clicking X, and what will happen now when I brush, it masks out. And as you can see though, it's actually painting a black spot on that uh, mask layer. So I'm gonna do that a bit more refined now as uh, I've already explained it. So to uh, make the brush size smaller, you can go up here, go to size, go something like that, and just brush it out. Zoom out. Um, I might go a bigger brush size. I'm trying not to use shortcuts here so you guys can understand and see visually what I'm actually doing. So I'm just brushing. I'll go a bit bigger. Zoom in, zoom, zoom in and out by the way, it's command minus and command plus, or I think if you're on PC, it's control minus, I think. I haven't used a PC in a while. Um, so what we're gonna do now, grab the um, uh, lasso tool I might use, just draw around that, just so I can, get in and not actually affect the cone. So click B for brush. See how it's not actually, um, I can't go outside of the, the ant layering, or selection, sorry, selection. Uh, same thing, grab the lasso tool, go on this side, draw around and click B for brush, brush that out. Right, zoom out. So far, looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, we should do the bottom as well. So, get the lasso tool, draw around that. It's going fairly rough. Uh, it doesn't need to be anything too special. Okay, zoom out, brush again, and there we go. So, now it looks like we have a floating ice cream except with no shadow. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in the shadow. So create a new layer, call that shadow. Um, and that should actually sit in between because it's going to be on the background layer. So all I'm going to do is go selection, grab this circle, just probably go out something like that, I would say. Um, select black.
back, command delete or control delete, Ooh, switch, switch your colors by, as you can see here, you can actually switch by clicking X, um, command delete, command D to deselect, now I'm going to click V, just it gives me the arrow, so you can just, there's all these shortcuts, you can either click the, the top section up here, or you can click V to give you back that arrow, and you can actually drag that layer wherever you want. Um, I should have masked out a bit more of the ice cream, so I'm going to go to back to ice cream, click on the mask, click V for brush, and just paint that out. I'm actually even going to draw in some here. shadow layer and once again click V to get the, the selection tool. Uh, I'm going to click, I think it's shift, no, control, uh, command on Mac, control on PC. Um, grab this spot here just to kind of angle it so you can see by holding command and moving the arrow up and down I can actually angle the shadow. So I think I'm going to go something like that. I might even make it a bit narrow so command Grab your center spot and make it a bit thinner. Just using the arrow key to kind of um, nudge it down. Okay, then I'm going to click the shadow layer. I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to blur, uh, gouache and blur. So give that just gives it a bit of a feather, um, makes it not as um, sharp around the edges. Okay. I'm going to go to drop it down, so maybe, oh, too much, something like that, I would say. Might even extend it out a bit. Now what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to add a mask layer to that, because I want to brush out some of it. Um, so click the shadow layer, click the camera icon. So you can see now we've got a new mask, click V for brush. and. Increase the size, go to 50, no, a bit more. Might go to 100, I would say. Something like that, 102, whatever. No, a bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's about right. Uh, switch over, X to switch over to the black. And I'm just going to go... Uh, Also, drag down, I'm going to drag down the, oh, actually as well, click back on the shadow layer and I'm going to actually give it a multiply, I think, a multiply effect. Okay, so turn that on and off. Might even bump it down to 20. Shadows you never want to be a little bit too obvious, kind of want them just there, but not complete noise, unless you're going for that look. Um, I think I'm happy with that. Mm. Looks good. So, last thing, let's get rid of this stand that's kind of cutting through our ice cream cone. So if I go to the ice cream layer and I make a quick selection around the part that I want to mask out. So, okay. Oops. Now you want to go to both sides uh, because we're trying to hide both of those. And then just let go. And that gives you a selection right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the masking, where is it? Uh, the clone. So we want the clone stamp tool. All right, so to get there, Click on the stamp icon, hold down, clone stamp tool is what you want. Now, make the brush a little bit bigger. 
size, it might go to 100, probably a bit too big, something like 60. Right, so what you've got to do here is you've got to hold down Option and I, I believe it's Alt for PC. Hold down Option or Alt and select the area that you want to copy to patch the area that you're trying to patch essentially. So I'm going to try and copy this section here to bring it down here. So I'm going to click there, let go and then move my arrow down and as you can see before I even click anything it's sampling what I'm going to copy of what I just clicked. So if I click that, keep clicking, it goes a bit darker. Um, and I can keep going down and you can see that plus icon as well, you can see where it's sampling from which is really cool. So if I move across here without even clicking I'm just moving my arrow across. I can see yeah, that's, that's kind of what I want and just click away move that down, click away. Now notice as well, because we have the selection tool, nothing is exceeding past that selection tool. Uh, select, yeah, the selection area, sorry, not tool. So I'm gonna resample, I'm gonna sample this area now by holding Option or Alt. Move it down, that looks about right. Click in there, move down, move across. Kind of looks real, no one's gonna really take notice. I can see it's sampling from there, I'm happy with that, that's fine. So now to deselect selection, Command D, zoom out, Command minus, and there you have it, the floating ice cream. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about how to merge both photos together. Um, fairly simple, once you know the the tools in Photoshop. So I hope this was kind of a bit of an eye opener and you can do this with pretty much anything. Um, so I hope that helped and I'll see you guys in the next one.